Hello, Facebook family. Um, I wish I or to cover a more pleasant subject, but unfortunately, I am here um, to pass along my condolences for um, the late great Dr. Sabi. Um, I'm trying to find. There we go. A better signal. This will be interesting. And give you all just an overview at who this man uh, is. I don't. I don't feel like it's okay to speak about him in a past tense form. I don't feel comfortable with um, thinking of his life as being over. I'm grateful to be alive in this day and age um, where technology allows for us to live forever um, and pass along our messages forever. And this is definitely a, a man who deserves that. So we're just going to get to some facts on Dr. Sabi first, and then I will tell you what all this information me means to me. Dr. Sabi, uh, his birth name, he was born as Alfredo Darrington Bowman back on um, November 26, 1933. He is 10 years older than my grandma. My grandma will be uh, 74 tomorrow. So it was incredible to be able to follow along with uh, a man who is a decade older than my grandmother and so full of incredible insight, energy, and information. Um, Dr. Sabi was the oldest of 22 children, which I can relate to. I don't have that many siblings, but I'm the oldest as well. And uh, there are certain roles that children who are the oldest, older siblings, uh, there are certain roles or, or certain attributes that um, the oldest children possess that a lot of other people tend to benefit from um, because you are innately taught leadership skills. And the larger your, um, your sibling group is, the more profound your leadership skills must be. Um, he fathered 17 children, um, and he does have a young child, a couple of them. And later on, I'll, I'll tell you guys how that is like a miracle in and of itself. Um, he is from the village of Ilanga in Honduras. I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's I-L-A-N-G-A. In Honduras, um, he's pretty well known um, in the world, not just from average individuals like myself, but Dr. Sabi treated Michael Jackson once upon a time. Um, he was treating Lisa Left Eye Lopez, and actually, she was creating a documentary on his property, the Usha Village in Honduras when she was, um, when she passed away in a unfortunate car accident. So, uh, we've been made aware of Dr. Sabi for some time now. I don't know if you guys can recall, but I recall when I was a young child and TLC was like the group and they were like kind of, it was rumors about them breaking up and, um, they just reported like how Lisa left eye just kept on disappearing. She looked like vamp to Honduras often. And nobody really knew why. And the media was like, oh, this girl is cuckoo. And we don't know why. And, you know, accusing her of all types of ridiculousness. And it took me some time because uh, shortly after she passed away, VH1 released the documentary that she was creating um, during her untimely death. And I was a young child when that came out, but I did go back and revisit the footage um, later on, and I'll share with you all some things that came uh, 
some things that I, I became aware of. I have to deep breathe because as I said in the title, um, now I'm like starting to cry, this sucks. I really respect this doctor. I have uh, not kept it a secret during my Facebook lives on my own health journey. I've had a lot of illnesses that um, challenged my health and at once, well, several times in my life kind of challenged my life as well. And uh, I endured some situations that could have been fatal. And um, there's no way that you get used to that when you have so many illnesses that are just overwhelming you and death is at your door for whatever reasons. It doesn't get easy. Thanks, Ace. I appreciate it. Um, I just really appreciate this doctor, so I'm going to attempt to focus so that I can get through this Facebook Live. But I'm a very real individual. That's why I do my Facebook Lives, so that you all can learn from my experiences why my story is what it is. And I am, my heart is heavy. I don't believe that Dr. Sabi is gone because I, I believe in things bigger than what we're presented with in this current life. So I by no means think that this is the end of the road for him at all, but he's a big deal to me, a very big deal to me. And I am going to give you all more information. I'm going to carry on with this Facebook Live so that you all can begin your research. Uh, so, his village that he created, that he built, is called Usha Village, U-S-H-A, is in Honduras, and he has healing water. It's mineral water that uh, is derived from the um, volcanoes. All of the minerals that uh, the volcanoes emit, it's perfect for our body, and it makes us heal. Like almost instantly and he, he grew all of these plants and food and he, he literally created the environment that allowed, allowed for him to live and thrive and then um, packaged the things that he grew for his goods. If you go to uh, Google and look up Dr. Sabi's website, you'll come across uh, I think the website is Dr. Sabi Cell Food. Um, just look up Dr. Sabi, though, official website, and you'll see exactly what his uh, website is about. Um, 